Punkins. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. I am Amy, your Pumpkin Spice Hufflepuff. And it is time, Halloween decor hunting has been kicked off and going for about a month and a half now. And I think it is time to start doing some hauls. So I'm actually gonna film this into little mini hauls, uh, break it down via store or group, like smaller hauls with smaller stores together. Uh, this is not the last of my shopping, but this is what I have to date. I'm sure there's a few things that I'll pick up between now and Halloween that I'll show you too. But I figured today we will start off with home goods. Let's start with mugs. There are actually three different mugs that I picked up from home goods this year. All right, so the first mug is, it's like that, I don't know if it's, what is the brand? It's an England company. It says Harvest Green Studio, but I have another one that I really, really love that leaves this Portobello designs and it feels exactly the same as this, but it's got all of these great jack-o'-lanterns all around it. Inside the cup, it's got a jack-o'-lantern right inside, which I love, but I didn't realize that I think this is a defect when I got it. So it just says Pookie. And I think it's missing an S unless it's supposed to say Pookie, but I'm pretty sure it's probably supposed to say spooky, <laughs> but it's okay. I still love it. And it was only $3.99 for this. So probably because of the defect, maybe. Uh, the next mug that I got, this is actually my first Ray Dunn mug ever but I had to get it. It says pumpkin queen. If it could say pumpkin, that'd be perfect, but it says pumpkin queen. And I love how the pumpkins are all jack-o'-lanterns at the bottom. I love it. It holds so much coffee. It's amazing. Uh, this one was $6.99. I don't know if it's because of the Ray Dunn tag on it, but $6.99. And this next one is not necessarily a spooky mug. It's a cozy mug. And it reminds me of pumpkin. So I had to get it. It is this mug here. You see, what is that in the corner? It almost looked like a present at first. It's not, it's, I think that's just a firewood basket with a bow on it for some reason. But it's got this fire and then this little orange kitty, if you can see it, just snuggled up by the fireplace. So it made me think of pumpkin and I loved it. Um, moving on. We will continue with drinkware. So I found these wine glasses and I love them. This is just two that I have. So the first one, it's a clear wine glass up here with a metal base and it's got four skulls down here at the bottom. And the next one that I have, again, the clear glass up top. And then we got a raven resting on a skull love it. Uh, I do have two more that are coming. So these were the only two that I saw in my home goods here, but my sister is up in Illinois and she found two more. One where it's again, the clear with the metal base and it's a full skeleton with his hands up holding the glass. So she was able to get me that one. And another one, again, with the clear and the metal base where the metal part is like a skeleton arm coming up and holding it. So I have a set of four and I love how they all are the same with the clear and the metal, but different at the bottom. I love it. You don't need wine charms now. You just have to remember the base. Great. <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> so, Again, I've never owned Ray Dunn until this year, apparently, but I was super excited because I found a couple of items to add to Witchin in the Kitchen series, but I got this little loaf pan and it says spooky. Love it. I'm very, very excited. Uh, it is dishwasher safe. It is microwave safe and it's oven safe up to 400. So you don't want to use this in the oven if you're cooking on higher than 400. Just keep that in mind. This was $12.99 and then I got a mate for it where it's more of a matte black feel and it says feeling spooky. Again, same thing, dishwasher safe, microwave safe, oven safe, up to 400 degrees. And this one was 
So those are my home good kitchen finds for this year. There was a few things that I was hoping to see out in the wild that I didn't. Like I did not see the um, the Dutch oven with the spider web on it. Uh, I did see one that had a skull on it, but it was little. It was like like this. What can you? I didn't get it because size wise. I don't know what I would use that small of a Dutch oven for, but I feel like the spider web one was at least a normal size. I don't know, but moving on, this is something I did not actually buy for myself. Um, I didn't see it in my home goods. My mom got it for me while she was on vacation, but I saw in other people's videos that they actually saw this girl at home goods. So I figured I'd post it. And if you like it, maybe your home goods has it, but my mom saw this and the, like, thought of me while she was on vacation. Great mom, Mama Spice is awesome. But it's this beautiful mermaid with this golden hair, little skeleton face, little sh or skeleton body, sugar skull face, and this cute little jack-o'-lantern that she's holding. She's adorable, I love her. Uh, but she is apparently able to be found at Home Goods. So I figured I would include her in this. Next up, I got some fake books. These were the two that I got. I got two different sizes. Uh, I probably will get a few more before the year is out because these are amazing. Uh, this first one says Book of Spells. It's got this lovely vintage witch. Um, she's got what looks more like a party hat as opposed to a witch hat, but I love the moon behind her and just the face that he's making. And then on the spine, it says Spells. So love it. And then the bigger size that I got is this guy here. I love this one. It's just black, white, and orange. Beautiful. I love this hag right there. Look at her. And it looks like she's telling, like, casting a spell over her cauldron. Doesn't it? That's what it looks like. It says old witch, fortune telling cards. And then the sides is charms, psychic, and tarot. Uh, so it's a much bigger box to hold things really excited for these. They're so useful. Like it's a practical Halloween decor item. If you need something practical, uh, something else that I found there was this guy. Uh, I don't know why when I saw him, I was so excited, but I just was. So he's metal. And then you have a little votive candle holder here. Um, I honestly don't think I'm going to use him as a candle holder. I think what I'm going to end up using him for is actually for jewelry. Um, so I'll hang some necklaces or some bracelets from his little fingers, even some rings, uh, and then use this for little trinkets uh, is what I think I'm going to use this for. And then put like my open-ended bangles on the bottom. So I'm pretty sure I'm going to use this in my jewelry area is where this guy's going to go. Could change, but that's my mindset. Um, you can't go wrong with a giant bowl. If you love popcorn, like I love popcorn and also just for your candy. So I did used to have a giant bowl that had nightmare before Christmas stuff all over it. And I loved it, but it got broke in the move down here. And I was a very sad, sad pumpkin, but it's okay. Cause I found this guy and I love the polka dots. I thought the little dashing skeleton gentleman riding his bike was great. So this is going to be our new trick or treat candy bowl and also just popcorn. <laughs> Scary movie days. You need that popcorn bowl, right? Okay. Last, no, almost done. Almost done. Close to done. So this is something else that I saw that I thought was super cool. So I had to get it. They had two different sizes, but it is a wooden tray, like solid wood with these metal skeleton handles. And they're basically like, draw me like one of your French girls. Hello, Jack. It's very suggestive. I don't know where your hand placement is, sirs or ma'ams. <laughs> I wonder who designed this, but anyway, I, I do love it. It's a tray. These are the handles. It's pretty great. They did have a couple different sizes. This is actually the smaller of the two sizes. The other one was 
quite a bit bigger to where I liked it, but I storage wise and usage wise, I just felt like this was a lot more practical for what I was wanting and needing it for. So I'm excited for this guy. He is going to be used year round, 100%. All right, spooky cozy blankets. My home goods didn't have a lot of spooky blankets in regards to ones I had not seen before or don't already own, but I did think that this guy was super cool. Uh, it's just more of like a pastel or like femme goth look with the skull and the flower crown. I just, oh, they're always so soft. I love these things, but I just thought it was so pretty. And it's again, not Halloween necessarily. So all the time. All right, this is the last thing from Home Goods. I'm very excited because I had seen this either last year or a couple years ago online and I wasn't able to find it or see it in person. But look at this spooky house pillow. Can we get it? How are we getting it? So if you can't tell, it's huge, super squishy and soft, very comfortable. Uh, it's got little ruffled edges here and it's got more of like a knitted braided feel here and then just a cotton black on the back. And it does have a zipper so you can wash this. I don't know what the care instructions are, but it is washable. We got the spooky house, the belfry. Look at the belfry. And all these baths I'm sure came out of that belfry. Look at this house. And we got some crows down here, some branches, spooky like dead trees. I mean, tell me you don't want to live in that house. I want to live in that house. I love it. And I love that I'm filming this now because I can just start putting it around my house and not have to worry about gathering it all back up to show you my haul. So that is it for my home goods haul for this year as of yet. There still could be more to come and I will film that at a later date. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I really appreciate you haunting my channel for sure. What have you gotten at Home Goods so far? Or is there anything at Home Goods that you've seen online that you haven't seen in person yet? Let's chat about it. Please comment below. I'd love to hear. If you also liked this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Make sure that you hit the subscribe button and the little bell, and that will notify you when I update my channel with more content. And I look forward to seeing you in the future. Have a great week, Goolian.